Good morning everyone, this is Trafalgar Valentine. Okay, today I've got a Ford Escort drawing, which is made of kind of heavy duty badass, kind of with armour plates and the side exhaust, all these cool stuff. But I'm going to show you the, uh, the shading techniques with my Faber Castell small pen, just to get a nice texture of this vehicle. Okay, for the bodywork here, because it curves around, I want to start with some d lines. So, start from the bottom here, and then just flick up. Then just curl it up. Then at the top here, it's going to be a little bit lighter, so I'm just going to separate the lines a little bit. Apply less pressure. Okay, now I want to make this little area is going to be darker, so I'm just going to repeat what I did there and just increase the lines. And then maybe even increase it just a little bit further at the very bottom, especially in these corners. Okay, that looks good. So you can see there I've got the nice contrast between the dark. I'm just adding more and more on the darker sections. I'll apply this over the whole vehicle in a moment. Okay, so for these armor plates I'm going to apply dots. So just dots here. And some dots here. This is the stippling effect. Now I just want to make this darker by increasing the volume of dots in the darkest areas. So I'll spend a bit more time going backwards and forwards, tap 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 tap. Go right to the dark edges. I might just increase the speed just in the darker areas, just sort of a bit more of a rough dots. Okay, now in this uh, cylinder shape here, again I'm going to perform lines going across. But this time I'm going to do cross hatching. I'm going to be adding cross lines, not quite all the way to the top, leaving a little bit of gap there. Now I want to make this darker by adding some vertical lines. And a few lines going across. Okay. Maybe we'll try this again. So again, let's add these lines. across and then for darker shading and then some vertical lines and just touch around the edges So I've got the dots here, the lines, and the cross hatch. Hmm, what else could we do? Maybe for this bonnet that I have with this engine, uh, we could apply little circles. So 
swirl, just little swirls here and there. And uh, the areas want darkest, I'm just going to apply over it a bit more, especially around here. Okay, I'm going to put some lines in this window area. Dots in the center. Okay, looks good. So, this is another armor plate which will have the dots. So, we're doing the darkest areas. Going quite rough with this. Just dot, 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 dot. And then spend a bit more time in the darker areas. So we've got this shading, this shading, this shading, this shading, crosshatched lines, squiggles. Okay, for this uh, tire, as you can see there, I'm just going to apply lines on here, on top of the tread. Okay, so in between the tread, I'm just buying a cross hatch. Okay, and then my last shading technique is just going to be some heavy black lines. So let's put some thick lines on here for the exhaust. Okay, so you can see there I've got the five different shading techniques, the lines, the cross hatch, the stippling, the heavy black shadows and the squirrely pattern. All these create nice different textures for this vehicle. I'll finish this over the vehicle and then afterwards you can see a photograph uh, of what I've done. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. It's just some fun techniques for you to try if you wanted to share it for yourself. And uh, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you later.